Hi scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Riding Tales. So in today's video, I'm going to be opening lots and lots of chests. This first one that I'm opening is my uh, chest that I get as a reward for my club. So that's why there's quite a lot of items in it. You'll see me opening some other chests as well. Um, I think roughly I opened over 100 chests this week. Um, some of the chests that I opened were the, as I said, this is the team chest, which gives quite a lot of items. Um, that is once a week I can do that. Then I also have the 10 minute chest, which you can get every 10 minutes. I um, highly recommend if you're a new player to definitely, definitely open them. And even if you're not, open them anyway. Um, the other one we had is the 4 hour chests. I didn't open every 4 hour chest or every 10 minute chest, you know, throughout the week because that would have been so many more chests than I had. Um, but I tried to open them as frequently as I could. Sometimes I would just pop on the game um, every once in a while to get the 4 hour chest or get the 10 minute chests because I figured I wanted to see how many gems I could kind of get from doing this. I was actually really quite pleasantly surprised. Uh, the first three to four days, I got gems at least once every single day, usually around 20 to 30 gems. So that was like a big like increase in my gems for sure. And uh, what I really liked about that as well was I was able to use some of those gems and to level a couple of pets up. Um, one of the other things that I got out of the uh, chest a couple of times was 20 black pearls, which has been really good because then I was able to go and open a couple of pet chests, which you'll see um, a little bit later in this video. So if you want to see what pets I got, um, you can see that uh, just a little bit later on. Um, so I did open a couple of ch pet chests, as I said, with the black pearls. The other thing as well was the daily um, chests that were available for some of the uh, daily login rewards. Um, I did collect some of those in this, so you'll see a couple of the rewards from that as well. Um, because I got like, I think it was the brown hair, for example, um, the black beauty horse on day seven. Um, there was a couple of other ones that I got as well. Quite a few times I got horses. What I normally did with the horses was uh, I put them in my paddock and then I sold them for gold. So I didn't really keep any of these horses because these are horses that I already own. So I didn't really see the point in keeping them. Um, but I did just put them in the paddock until I had a chance to go and sell them as a bunch. So I mostly got gold whenever I got horses, really, in that regards. Um, I have been really pleased with this because it's really handy for getting resources as well. If you're ever short in resources, it's been brilliant for that. I have to say I really, really, really liked this update. Um, I think it's actually one of my favorites in quite a while. Um, one other thing as well, before I forget, is uh, the resources that you get you also get the resources for your island building so if you're maybe struggling with getting enough items to build your island or anything like that this is another good thing you can get different things like bricks and marble and things like that um so if you want to work on your island and get resources to build upon that outside of the regular game you can do that it's also a really good source of stables and the other thing being race tickets um, I am someone that usually struggles with race tickets. I don't know if you guys find it kind of difficult, but I usually struggle. And I really don't want to be spending jams on race tickets. That's something I don't like to do. So for me to be able to get race tickets from these chests has been really, really useful. It's enabled me to do more of the multiplayer races, the cross country ones, the silver, the gold and the diamond. Unfortunately, none of my horses had had matched all three skills. That has been something that my horses just have not been doing for me. Like, do anyone, does anyone ever find that, like, you get them all the time? Because I don't. I am, like, this person that either matches one of them or two of them. I think I can only remember, like, twice ever um, having the ability to match my horse to the skills. So that has been kind of annoying. But I'm hoping that maybe if I do my stat sheet, which I have started to do because I mentioned with you guys that I was going to list all of my horses, write down all of the different skills that they have, and then figure out which ones I was missing, like which combinations I don't have at all. Um, so that's my goal. And um, I did start to do that stat sheet. I haven't finished it yet. Um, I put all my horses' names listed down and all the different stats, but I haven't put the stats all in for all of them yet. So I want to do that. And then I can be like, okay, these are the horses I'm completely missing and maybe I should like uh, try and capture some more with these particular skills. Um, that was an idea that I was, I kind of had with that because I thought that maybe I'd have more luck with the multiplayer races because I just never seem to match the three skills. It happens like once in a blue moon, which is too little really. Um, so yeah, I want to do that um, for like future 
and uh, just to increase the ability that I can compete more competitively in those races because I feel like you're quite a big disadvantage when you don't match all of the skills. Um, one of the things that I want to do with the amount of gems that I've been getting with these chests, if I can keep going and I still keep getting gems, is eventually I'd like to open, um, well, one of the, use a mystical whistle, whistle basically, um, is something that I kind of want to do because I feel like I really want to try and get that undead light steel. I don't know if I don't get the undead Clyde uh, Steel. There's other horses that I would be happy enough with, I think. But I really, really, really would like to get the undead Clyde Steel because I think it's a super gorgeous horse. It's definitely one of my favorites. And I think it really matches my uh, pet skull as well. So that would be one of my hopes with that. But yeah, no, I've been really, really pleased with these chests so far. Um, I'd really like to know what do you guys think so far? Like, have you been really religiously opening them like every single day? Um, or have you just been kind of like doing it every once in a while or not at all even? Um, because I, I think the fact that you can, you know, they're there every 10 minutes, every four hours or whatever. Even if you don't come on every 10 minutes, you've got the four hour ones and like, you know, you can check every once in a while. So that's what I've liked about it is the fact that we've got a bit of variety there. We don't have to like stick just one particular um, chest. We've got the two because I think if the 10 minute ones have been there, they're kind of like every 10 minutes you might get one item. So you might be bothered to log and you might not. But I think what the draw is really good and I think what they did a really good job with is having the two different times. Even if you're not somebody that wants to come on over and over and over again or even if you're not somebody that stays on. Because I think the 10 minute ones are more for people who stay online for long periods of time. Um, the 4 hour one is really good for people who like don't come on all that frequently or stay on for long periods of time during the day. If you're on maybe once or twice a day. They're a good thing because you know you, whenever you probably come back on, they'll be there. Um, so I really like that aspect of it. And the other thing that I've been wondering, because I have not got all the pets in the game, is can you get duplicates in the pet chests? Because I have not yet had a duplicate. I'm hoping you don't get duplicates because I wouldn't want to end up with three of the same pet. That You know, I just wouldn't see the point of it. Um, but so far I have not had any duplicates with the pets. But no, I, I'm going to try, as I said and work. There's so many things I want to work on in this game. The stats with my horses, getting all the pets eventually, and um, saving up for that whistle to try and get the undead Clyde steel. There's so much to do, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've been pleased with this. I think this is definitely one of my favorite updates in a long, long time. And that is saying something. And like, it's made it, I think it makes it so much easier for anyone who struggles with resource gathering as well, because we've got this constant, like, You'll eventually probably get um, stuff to make tack or to help you progress with the quests and that. You know, if you can get more race tickets, you can possibly get more black pearls, which will make it easier to get pets. And then if you get more pets, then you have more skills with pets. And then you can work on the north quest much easier, having a couple of pets. Because obviously, if you're somebody that's planning to go and get north like I did, then you're going to need at least three pets. And for the very, very, very last mission, two of those pets are going to have to be level 50 and one of them's going to have to be level 100. I don't know if that'll ever change and I don't know if they'll ever expand on those Norse quests or anything like that. Um, the other thing that I have to tell you guys, which is was quite exciting, um, I will show you guys uh, in the next video that I do of Horse Riding Tales, but my club leveled up to ga uh, again and I um, was really pleased with that. And uh, we were able to get the medium sized club island, which I kind of spent like half an hour on and kind of just made it into like, not that it was just blank um, barren land. It's not amazing or anything. Um, I does need, I need to do a lot of building on my club island. I kind of feel like I don't want to do it until I get like the mega islands because then I'll put a lot of time and effort into actually um, making it all pretty and nice and everything. But uh, yeah, we leveled up, so I will show you guys in the next video when I do that. And the other bit of good news um, is that I asked a lot of you guys for help on the community page about possibly getting a new device to play Horse Riding Tales on, and I can confirm that I have ordered one. So hopefully it'll be here sometime next week, or maybe the week after, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to get it, but I've got a tablet. I decided to go with the tablet because... I, I think my phone just isn't good for playing games anymore, so I've kind of decided I'm not going to worry about it anymore. But yeah, so we'll hopefully have an update more on that later. So this was the uh, first of the two pet chests that I opened, and um, 
for this one it was the mythical one that I went with I think and I got a panda out of that one an epic panda I was pretty pleased with the skills that I think I got on that panda as well so we had I think it's cold resistance we had strength this is pr is predator smell tracking and then finally climb which is what I miss I, I need climb on a lot of pets to be honest it often comes up for me usually and then the other pet I opened a slightly I oh, can't remember which rarity this was I think this was the one down from that I think it was just it wasn't a mythical one anyway aquapack that was it um, and I got the rare panther with this one can't really remember the skills on this one what skills did we get we got camouflage we also got night vision and then there's the, the climbing one as well and then cold resistance so those were the two pets that I got um, open in chest. And the last thing I did was I actually went ahead and did a daily uh, chest as well because I hadn't done one forever and I decided that I would. But anyway, Scrubs, um, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a lovely day. Ah, bye bye.